Welcome to the NOLA.com, the Times Picayune's prep preview show, River Parish Edition. I'm Julie Bodoe, and joining me is New Orleans prep writer Mike Strom, who has um, done four shows today, Mike. Mr. Know It All. And we, I guess we saved the best for last year, didn't we? <laughs> yeah, let's get down to some River Parish football. Uh, we're going to start with Destrahan, who advanced all the way to the semifinals before falling to eventual Class 5A champion Acadiana. What will it take for the Wildcats to make it past the semis and into the championship game? Well, uh, Coach uh, Steve Robichaud might not appreciate us or me saying this, uh, how, this how their team shakes out a quarterback. I mean, they returned 17 starters, several major college prospects. Um, uh, the, the hole in the middle right now is the graduation of Donovan Isom. They have a promising 10th grader in Marque Marquise Darrensburg that I know they're very high on. And I'm thinking, uh, you know, Destra has an outstanding coaching staff. They will probably look to people like uh, Will Matthews, their running back, uh, Kirk Merritt, mm -hmm. who's going to play receiver and running back, Alfred Smith. Uh, those kind of get the ball to those skilled players and let uh, Marquise mature at his own pace. Let's move across uh, the river to Destrehan's rival, Hanville. The Tigers have a new coach in Nick Saltafermaggio who brought in a new offense and a new defensive scheme. Um, what do you expect from the Tigers in 2014? Well, I think Hanville should be plenty good. I mean, they generally always are. Um, the offense you referred to, they like to run, uh, that Coach Salt likes to run, is the double slot option. Uh, he brought in his offensive coordinator from E.J. Francolello with him, and he has some, some talent over there. I mean, uh, in particular, Ricky Preston at receiver. I think he may get some playing time at running back. They have a nose guard that Coach Salt is just off the charts excited about, and Fred Brown. Mm -hmm. and um, uh, Brandon Singleton, the wide Brandon receiver. Brandon Singleton, excuse me, the receiver, thank you. And uh, I know uh, in speaking to Coach Salt just recently, he was uh, sharing that he's got seven seniors who are already committed to Division I schools. Mm. So he's playing with, he's got talent he's playing with. Let's move on to East St. John and LSU commitment Xavier Lewis. Can this group, led by Lewis, um, clinch the 75A district title? I really believe they can. I'm uh, uh, high on East St. John this year. Uh, I know Coach Phil Banco. Is, is excited about his football team as well. He might not be inclined to publicly uh, <laughs> predict what they're going to do, but uh, he doesn't disagree that they should be uh, highly regarded and uh, vie for the district championship. Uh, in addition to Xavier, I mean, they have an a outstanding running back in Nigel uh, Anderson mm -hmm. and a uh, really fearsome uh, safety in Amani Martin. Um, and the question mark about the Wildcats will be in the offensive and defensive lines where they're replacing virtually uh, everyone. But I believe they're going to be plugging in talent. 7-5A is certainly a district to keep our eyes on, and those three schools are just fun to watch. And I've also been told from talking with coaches, you got to keep, keep an eye on Thibodeau. Mm. Uh, Thibodeau should uh, be a, a factor in the race. All right. Let's move on to the 30-second game we like to call the lightning round. I'm going to say a school name. Mike is going to tell me the first thing that pops up in his head about that school. Can I get 30 seconds on the clock? And let's start this with St. Charles Catholic. Uh, Comets have to be excited. They no longer have uh, Curtis in their uh, division of the playoffs, and they have a good team. West St. John. Young but talented. Uh, Coach Robert Valdez always does a great job. Riverside. Riverside, another uh, talented team, but more so experienced. Uh, have to come up with a, 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 a player at quarterback. Destrehan. Destrehan, what's not to like about the Wildcats? Coach R Steve Robichaud just does a fabulous job. A quarterback again is the issue. Time's oh, up. Got through four there, Mike. Right. Okay, well, I think that's pretty much it for us. Um, be sure to check out all of the other prep preview content on NOLA.com. I think we've got everyone ready for the prep football season. I sure hope so. I know I'm ready. <laughs> I'm Julie Bodoant. That's Mike Strong. Until the next time, thanks for watching.